tribute to Guy Fisher. Have you ever had the pleasure? Well, I'm gonna say this I saw the other day. All my apps did a uh, let him on stage after he did our show. Oh man! And uh, he God. killed that shit. He talked this shit about having pH. He said they let his man out first because his man had cancer. He didn't want to go before his man. He went to the people and said, "Can I come out?" And they let him out. Mm -hmm. He said, "But you know, I wasn't a bitch ass nigga. You know that Nicky nigga." Mm -hmm. and he called, then he said, "You know that Frank motherfucker. Only motherfucker know snitched on his family, everybody." Mm -hmm. And <laughs> but he still wasn't bitter. And he still was in the end. The message was he ain't let nothing stop him. Mm -hmm. Like you, he got his education. Listen, 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 him. listen, listen, man. When I came in, when I came in, the prison system was October seventeenth, nineteen uh, ninety-four, and uh, by October twenty-fifth, I had two stabbings on the police and wound up in ADX. You stabbed two police? Yeah, in ADX and started a riot in Lewisburg behind the crack law. You know what I mean? I was charged for it in the prison and all that. You know what I mean? Everything I'm telling you is documented like I'm telling you I got all my documentation of my history. You understand what I'm saying? This is still a part of my history. You understand what I'm saying? I went to ADX to start the crack law riot in Lewisburg the same time when they had the Million Man March with Farrakhan when he brought the million black men over there to Washington, D.C. and the whole Washington cleared out. Mm. At that time, that was the same time when O.J. Simpson was going to trial and he was acquitted. America went in an uproar. You know what I mean? Oh, I so OJ uh, uh, Simpson is acquitted. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, they everybody mad, everything going on. America, you know how America was back then. We, that's where the divide was coming in. Mm -hmm. That's how Donald Trump came in. That was the beginning of the creation of the Donald Trump era. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. how did this nigga be killing this beautiful white woman? That's all the Europeans were saying. You understand right. what I'm saying? But then at that time now, they voted on a crack law if they was going to make crack um, uh, um, equal to powder. Because back then, you get caught with one gram of crack, one gram of uh, powder, or one gram of crack like this, you got to get caught with this much powder cocaine to get the same amount of time. A hundred grams difference. Because crack means you're distributing and you're going to go. Nah, they did that because niggas me. sold crack. Right. Niggas sold crack. They wanted the niggas. So niggas that were smoking, all the smokers like this, those are the ones that was taken away from the babies while the babies is out here like they are right now. Bugger. So but that was the question that I asked earlier, and now you just said it. If you do feel like that was part of the reason why the babies are like they are Yeah, but, but but the way I heard your question, the way I heard I your question, I'm telling you how I heard it. I heard it like you were saying, like the crack had something to do with it, meaning like because, the, you know, they was crack babies or they oh, probably were smoking okay, crack. Right. That's yes. what I was hearing. Oh, but okay. I want you to know that it was deeper than that. Of course, like I said, if a woman ingests cocaine or, you know, even marijuana, the baby going to get high when she get high. Because it's connected to the memory core. Mm -hmm. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. But but as it went on, like I said, they was lacking black men up for this much crack, and niggas was smoking this much crack. Mm -hmm. Doing a bunch of years too. You understand what I'm saying? So the smokers went to jail. That's what filled up the federal system. And then they were saying, okay, you got caught with that. How much crack was you buying? You know what I mean? Oh, I bought about five grams a day. You know what I mean? For how long? Oh, I've been getting high for about you know a year. You know what I mean? So they say, okay, five times uh, uh, 364 days. And whatever that add up to, that's the amount of drugs you got now. From a crackhead that never even seen five goddamn grams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy. You know did, what I mean? Did, and did, that's, what, that's how the kids raise themselves. Did you ever meet Guy Fisher? Yes, I did. That's what I'm telling you. I'm getting to that. Okay. So um, after I did that and I went to ADX, I did my time up there. When I got up there, I couldn't read or write. I had to take my letters and I was getting a ton of mail. You know, a nigga like me just coming in, everybody writing as the years went on. They dwindled off. Let's keep that 100. You understand what I'm saying? But I appreciate them for even the two letters they sent or one letter they sent. Some lasted years, some lasted decades. You understand? But I don't, you know, look at the ones that didn't last, you understand? You know, as doing nothing wrong. You understand? They had to move on with their life. You understand what I'm saying? And whatever was happening in their life, they focused on that to get themselves right. You understand what I'm saying? And that pulled them from having time to make, to use their energy towards communicating with me. But that didn't mean they didn't still love me. And I understand all of that because I had to put myself in their shoes because after I stabbed the police and went to ADX, that's the first thing the site taught me. You know what I mean? They said, you got to remember, you from a whole different world than these backwoods white police. You're getting ready to run around for the Why rest you, of your life. You stabbed the police? You know what I mean? They pissed you off? Nah, they, they had my man on the ground and they twisted him up. You understand what I'm saying? Big shout out to Mike Wagner. You know what I mean? They got him on the ground. They twisted his arm up this way and twisted the arm up that way. And you understand what I'm saying? And while they doing that, you know what I mean? They 
acting like they're trying to cuff them. Your hand ain't gonna go together this way. And they yelling, where your fire con at now, nigga? Cause that was the same time, like I said, as the Million Man March. So emotions kicked in and niggas jumped off and set it off and, you know, shit went down. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, they came in there shooting tear gas in this and all that. They done tear gas this and all that. But we had to take blankets and throw it over the, you know, wet the blankets in the water and throw the blankets over the tear gas bomb when they came in the dorm and throw it out the window. They kept shooting tear gas and they running in with their riot gear and we ain't got nothing but a little knife that we made out of a bed spring. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'll cut the metal out of a, the bottom of the bunk to get something thick of what we call a bone crusher because it'll go through your bone. You know what I mean? Yeah, he talking that shit, y'all. Listen, y'all. All y'all don't need to go to jail. He talking that shit. 90% of y'all don't want this, what he went through. You know what I mean? Y'all front like y'all do. And then after that, when I went to ADX, the, 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 the white si a psychiatrist said to me that where you come from and where these back backwards white boys come from that you're going to run across for the rest of your life is two different worlds. So you have to try and put yourself in their shoes to see why they're saying what they're saying to you that you're taking as a disrespect in your world. Because the, the, the world is not just your world. My little world, as they said. You understand? The world goes like this, and you got all different types of mentalities. You understand what I'm saying? And emotions that you're going to run across. And because someone don't have your mentality, your emotion, you can't just stab them because they say something you didn't understand because that don't mean they were disrespecting you because in their world, it wasn't disrespectful. Got you. Okay. If you could understand that. No, but I then, understand. I, then I did my time up there, and I went to um, Allenwood, and that's where I met Guy Fisher. Okay. To get into your question. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you shit that I've been through, so I flow, my nigga. No, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? This ain't nothing to stop thinking, pause, and recreate and reconstruct. Yeah, I love, yo, you yo, know yo, what I mean? Yeah, I love it, man. You ain't got to worry about me. I'm just flowing with you. So.